lied to you guys. It's been awesome, long day, but awesome day. Be around the family again. Um, it's been good. And what what are you looking what are you uh, looking to do this year in terms of personal goals obviously last year with the shortened season it was a little more difficult what are you looking this year to uh, to accomplish over the course of the season be better be better uh stay healthy for my team and uh help the team win uh ryan mcguffey nbc sports chicago what's up Aloy? um <laughs> do you get motivated by people saying that you that, that you're not a left fielder and that they think you should that you're designated for DH and because it seems to be a hot topic of conversation your manager talked about it last week How, what is your take on it I know you put in the work in left field uh, constantly to be better but, but, but when you hear critics say you shouldn't or you can't uh, what is your take on that does that motivate you yeah, that's motivating me, you know, because um, you need to work for something. And uh, I try to work hard for that. For, um, But I don't try to hear that a lot, you know. I try to work my, uh, I try to do my work done and uh, try to be better every day. NBC Sports Chicago, Chuck Garfine. Hello, good to see you. Um, wanted to ask you about this team and how excited you are about the possibilities of this season how good is this team in your eyes and can it compete for a world series title Whew. if it, last year we were good this year we're gonna be better you know uh i think we had the confidence uh and i think we are good if we help healthy uh, we can help the team and uh, make the playoffs. The first is the first goal, and after go to the World Series. And I think we can do it. MLB.com, Scott Birkin. Lloyd, how uh, difficult was it for you last year to end the season like it did? You know, hurt and not being able to contribute when you guys were so close. Was it? Did it kind of motivate you even more for this year, or was it just kind of one of those things that happened? Well, I was a little bit frustrated with that, you know, because it was at the end of the season. You can see my face when, when uh, at the end of the season, uh, done, you know. Um, but this year is different. Uh, it's going to be better. And uh, I'm going to enjoy the playoffs, too. So why, why not laugh now? Chicago Tribune, Lamont Pope. Hey, Eloy, you were in the hitting group with uh, Andrew Vaughn. Just what did you see from him and what, what, what impresses you about him when you, when you see him at the plate? Well, he's a really good player. He's a really good hitter. What I can say, <laughs> what I can say, he's a really, really good, really good player and he's a really good human being. The Athletic, James Fegan. Lloyd, what was your takeaway from uh, Tony addressing the, the team today at the start of camp? And how has the adjustment been for you, given that, you know, uh, you know, Ricky was the only manager you had had in your career up to this point? How has it been like been adjusting to a new manager? How was the impression of the meeting that you had Tony, that you had Tony in the meeting? And how has been your process of adaptation? Well, it's the first day, so um, I talked to him. Uh, he's really good, really good um, manager. He's really good uh, human being, you know. Um, and uh, we need to know each other, but for the first day, it's really good. Uh, he he just talked about uh, we need to be uh, brotherhood and. Uh, that is good for me to hear that. WBEZ, Cheryl raced out. Hi, Aloy, how are you? I want to ask you, since on Sunday, you'll be playing your first pre spring training game and there's going to be fans. What does it mean to you, the way you are, the way your mannerisms, having fans in the stands finally? No one, no one, no one. 
it's gonna be fun. Yeah, last year, uh, feel a little bit weird, but uh, if is they gonna be fans, it's, it's gonna be okay. So it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fun. Are you gonna have some sort of antics or something special towards the fans? I don't know. Maybe a surprise. Uh, for me, athletic John Greenberg. Eloy, kind of going on uh, that kind of thing, what do you want fans – fans are excited about this team. What do you want them when they think of White Sox baseball? Like, what kind of baseball do you want them to think about? Like, is it fun and exciting and all these young players? Well, fun team to watch, you know? That is uh, we want to do for the fans. Uh, they enjoy what we do for them. Chicago Sun-Times, Steve Greenberg. Eloy, hey, uh, how happy were you uh, for Jose Abreu that he won MVP? And did that make you think about doing that sort of thing yourself someday? I feel like when when they they say Abreu yeah, is is the MVP of the American League, I was crying. You know why? Because I know the work he put in every day. I know the that he worked hard every single day, no matter how he feel. And uh, I'm feel proud of him. You know, is he's a really good leader, and I think he deserved it. And what about what about you, Eloy? You and, and, and individual sort of honors, whether it's all-star or an award, is that part of what you think about going into a season? Is that one of your goals? That's my goal every single year, you know. It's to, you want to get better and you want to um, you want to be um, payback, you know. And uh, I think one day I'm going to be uh, the MVP. I don't know uh, what year, but I think it's soon. Back to uh, Eloy's favorite mustache, Vinny Duber. <laughs> uh, Eloy, what was it like seeing Luis Robert win a gold glove? You were standing right next to him uh, all year last year while he was playing defense. What was it like to see him get rewarded for that defense uh, that he plays? And what are you expecting out of him this season? Well, you know, play again, uh, uh, play with. Luis Robert is really fun. Uh, sometimes don't, you know, because try to catch every ball, but nah, I'm just kidding. He is, it's really fun to watch, you know, and uh, when when he went the gold glove, I was so happy. I call him um, and I say, you owe me, <laughs> you know? Uh, and uh, I think he's gonna be better this year because I think he's more my shooter and uh, he can, uh, be better at the play because he show he can hit, uh, you know, and uh, I think he's going to be better because he got more experience, just 60 games, but it's better than nothing. James Feagan. Hello, you had a good year offensively last year, but, uh, you know, Frank Manichino holds you to a really high standard. I think he told us in the past that you could hit 330. Um, do you have that same expectation for yourself? And how do you feel like you can get there uh, and take the next step offensively? Yeah, I think I can do it. Uh, you know, um, working hard every single day. And uh, I'm doing before, so why not now? MLB.com, Scott Merkin. Hello, you just joked about uh, telling Luis Robert that he owes you and you talked about him, you know, catching everything. How strange is that being out there with him, though? I mean, because of the fact that he really does range almost from, you know, a, a long way. And, and is it weird to be out there wait, ready to catch the ball and have him come over and cut in front at the last second and make a play? Well, <laughs> uh, it's a little bit weird, you know, because I never play with that kind of guy. Uh, who won everything, but uh, it's fun to watch him, you know, play because he has so much energy and he want to catch every ball. Uh, and it's, it's really fun to watch. 
And it looks like our last question is Chris Emma from 670 to score. You, know, you said you, you believe you could be MVP someday. What do you think you can do to get there? What will Eloy Jimenez as an MVP look like as a player? Working hard and learning, you know. Uh, that's that's my goal. And uh, if I keep working hard, I know uh, someday he's going to pay, pay me back. Eloy, Billy, thank you guys for the time. We'll talk to you in a couple of days. Thank you. See you, guys. Thank you.